2021 Lexus LS500 F Sport Review, The Comfort Zone But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. 30 years ago, the Lexus LS400 put the luxury sedan world on notice, offering full-size comfort with mid-size pricing, and better reliability and craftsmanship than any BMW 7 Series or Mercedes-Benz S-Class of the era. Now, however, those competitors have caught up and others, like the Genesis G90 and Audi A8, have joined the party. All of a sudden, the contemporary LS isn't the obvious, logical choice that some of its predecessors were. But even if it's not quite as relevant as it was in 1990, the big Lexus sedan is still an important standard bearer for the company, representing its best effort at incorporating comfort and performance with quality and efficiency. The 2021 Lexus LS500 F Sport seen here, resplendent in matador red mica, falls short in a few ways that many luxury buyers will value, but it still offers a compelling blend of style and craftsmanship, all at a surprisingly reasonable price. The spirit of the LS400 lives on. Far and away, the Lexus LS most distinguishing feature is its styling. While the company's spindle grille was polarizing at first, designers have hit their stride and incorporated the front end onto everything from the lowly UX to the gorgeous LC with great success. The LS500 is no exception, with base models getting an attractive diamond starburst grill texture and this F Sport tester receiving an unusual mesh pattern. Reshaped headlamps arrive for 2021 with a cleaner design than the old lightning bolt units, and the F-Sport's front bumper is creased instead of bulged, as on the 2020 model. A long hood and short rear deck give the current LS more athletic proportions than any of its predecessors, and the narrow side window openings are far more aggressive too. That distinctive cab rearward stance isn't common in this class, reserved primarily for smaller sedans like the IS500 and BMW 3 Series, but it imparts an undeniably aggressive mean to the full-size Lexus. F Sport styling additions are tastefully limited to a sharper front bumper, the aforementioned grille texture, and some dark finished, 20-inch wheels. Thanks in part to the glorious red paint, the Lexus was a head-turner, even inspiring an anonymous neighbor to give it an unsolicited application of high-gloss tire shine. Everything about this car is so beautiful, it should have tires to match, read the note they left on the windshield. I appreciated the sentiment, even if I prefer a matte black look to my rubber. The cabin is likewise special to behold. A high, nearly vertical windshield cowl, a la LC coupe, dominates the design, evolving into an artfully curved dashboard in front of the passenger and a bulging gauge binnacle in front of the driver. Stability controls and drive mode selectors sprout from alien-looking antennae on each side of the instrument cluster and flowing metallic trim spans the width of the dash, giving the LS a modern, futuristic vibe that we won't tire of looking at for years. Inside, the F Sport treatment is more comprehensive, comprising an LFA-inspired sliding gauge cluster, perforated leather seats with trim-specific stitching, an ultra-suede headliner, and aluminum pedals. Soft-touch surfaces coat nearly everything, while genuine metal appears on the volume knob and start button, helping the LS500 feel premium and expensive. This sedan's only downfall is a cheap panel of black plastic on the center console, hiding the cup holders under a flimsy feeling trapdoor. Those leather upholstered F Sport seats are incredibly supportive, with 28-way adjustability that includes the thigh bolster, hip and shoulder bolsters, seat back angle, upper back angle, lumbar support, and pelvic support. Dialing in all of those parameters is a bit of a trick since some functions live in the infotainment center instead of the seat buttons, but driver and front passenger will have no cause for complaint, as long as they're under 6 feet tall, others will balk at the limited headroom. Unfortunately, the rear seat is a bit less redeemable. Headroom suffers as a result of the LS sedan swoopiness, and tow room under the front row is non-existent due to a thick panel hiding the seat track and adjustment mechanisms. Call me crazy, but I'd rather have to look at a few nuts and bolts if it meant being able to rest my legs and feet at a comfortable angle. Those needing to transport VIPs would probably be better served by the more spacious and similarly priced Genesis G90. At least Lexus treats all passengers to the same level of fit and finish, hard plastics are hard to find, even on the rear doors and center console.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.